I sympathize and my heart is full. Hey, Epic Boomers. Second moment of silence for all these DC youth, Latino and African American and young ladies. Look at these beautiful faces. They should be having fun, but they're lost and to somebody's evil sickness. You thought about the things that happen in the news? Mm -hmm. Or sometimes people take other people's kids and raise them as their own. Or a guy who keeps kids in a house gets them pregnant until they can leave. They, they escape from him. These kind of things are sad. One young lady lived in a foster home. That's D.C. missing. She was found. She said she couldn't take it anymore because the lady was not taking care of her properly. And I feel bad for her. She should never have to feel like that. And I just pray. And I hope this message conveys a lot with all these beautiful faces, young faces that are innocent and going through so much. You're my thoughts and my prayers. And I have an update on Relisha Rudd. If anybody doesn't know her, she was an eight-year-old little girl who, uh, sadly enough, her family member allowed, Melissa, allowed her to go with a guy named uh, Kalia, okay, who was a janitor at a homeless uh, shelter they were staying at. He killed his wife, shot her in the head. They found him. Well, I'm sorry, they found her shot, shot in the head, his wife. And they found him days later. He committed suicide, but they never found Relisha's body. March 1st, Relisha disappeared. But you see these pictures you're seeing of her boyfriend and the mother posting on Twitter how they got shoes? Your, your daughter's missing. You're talking about getting high in shoes. There's so many neglect reports on her. Kids have been taken from her. That's a letter from her mom. I'm speechless. Y'all tell me how y'all feeling. So much love for you all.